everyone and welcome to the Isle of Wight festival vlog. I'm super excited for this one. I've never been to a festival. I've never been camping with my mum before. I haven't been camping since year six so this could be a really good holiday for us. Um, we absolutely love the Isle of Wight so there's no better place to go for our first festival so really looking forward to it. It's gonna be super fun. We're basically heading to the Isle of Wight a couple of days earlier just so that we can kind of enjoy the experience on the Isle of Wight, have a bit of a holiday before we go into camping and we can prepare ourselves a little bit better after a long journey. So yeah really looking forward to it. Really excited and I will see you guys very soon. Hi guys, so we've just arrived on the Isle of Wight, we've just got off the ferry around half an hour ago. We're actually staying in Ventnor for two nights before the Isle of Wight festival begins. We actually drove past the festival and like the ground and everything. It was actually a really big site so I'm really excited to like go there, set up our camp and stuff like that. But yeah, we're currently in Freshwater Bay. It's really, really nice here. Me and my mum came here a couple of years ago and the sea was not as calm as this. Like the waves were like literally up here. It was crazy. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog um, because basically I've only got one battery so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to charge it obviously in the apartment when we get there later on but I don't know how long it's going to last for the actual festival so we'll just go with it. We'll just see how much footage we can get. It is currently quarter to ten in the morning as you can see. Very, very quiet here, which is nice. There's something so relaxing about hearing the stones when you walk along the beach. The waves sound so therapeutic, I love it. It literally looks like we're in a different country. Look how blue the sea is down there. I'm not gonna go too far over because my mum will literally have a heart attack, but look. Can you see it just down the bottom there? Looks amazing, what the fuck? I thought, I looked like you lived it up there. I'd be on edge all the time. Wouldn't you? I would. Yeah. <laughs> on edge all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so we've now checked into our little apartment for the next couple of nights and then we'll be heading to the festival on Thursday morning. Hopefully around 8 o'clock we'll be leaving here. I'll quickly show you like a little apartment tour of what it looks like. It is quite cute, it is basically just what we need for a couple of nights. So I'll do a little apartment tour for you guys. This is a little front room lounge area bit. We've got a TV there. I think this is a sofa bed so we can pull that out if you wanted to. And then this is the view from one of the windows and then the reason why I chose this because my mum absolutely loves balconies. The sea is basically just down there somewhere. Um, and as we go through here, we've got the grunge. <laughs> What's the grunge? What's the grunge? <laughs> why did I say that? We've got the grunge. We've got the grunge. No idea what the grunge, grunge is. Where does that word come from? This is our kitchen area, it's very cute. Mum's gonna display it for you. We've got basically everything you need for a cup of nights. We've got an oven, we've got a fridge, we've got a microwave, we've got some chocolate fingers, we've got tea, hot chocolate, coffees. And then through here, you can see the other side of the balcony. And then Mum's making herself a nice cup of tea. It's whack. It's whack, dude. And then we've got the bedroom. This is the bedroom. Um, the bedroom's actually an ensuite, so the toilet's in there. Um, it's just a basic kind of bedroom, really. We've got a wardrobe in there, a um, little mirror area. I've dumped all my stuff down there. Um, we've got a mirror here. Hi. In here is the bathroom. I love the tiles. They are really, really pretty. That is the bathroom area. That is basically a room toy. Mum is literally chilling, chilling mate. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna sit here now. I don't know. I don't really have any plans. Do we, should we do anything later? I feel like we just sit here. We've got a whole yeah. day tomorrow, haven't we, to kind of do anything. Well, I am actually doing really well with the updates and the vlog so far. I mean, it's only been one day, so we'll see how tomorrow goes. But um, yeah, see you later. Good morning, everyone. So we've currently been sleeping for around 10 hours. Well, I say we, I have been sleeping for 10 hours. Um, yesterday did take its toll on me, I'll be honest with you, getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And there's a lot of driving, to be honest with you, driving from Bristol to Southampton, the ferry, driving around the island for a little bit of a holiday experience. So yeah, it did knock me for six, I'm not going to lie. So it is currently Wednesday, it's our second day of the holiday. Again, I'm really happy that I vlogged 
because I'm kind of keeping up with this now. I'm enjoying it. My mum has really nicely made a little breakfast set up, so we're going to go check that out. And yeah, today we're basically going to be doing a little bit of food shopping and prep for the camping experience from tomorrow because we're going to be heading there quite early, about nine o'clock we think we agreed. It takes around half an hour to get from Vetnor to Cows again, so hopefully get in for 10. The car park opens at six o'clock in the morning and then the camping starts at 10 i think i was looking on the website last night so that is the plan to get there quite early set up our camp situation really excited one day left to go so yeah let's get up i need to drink more today as well yes i felt really dehydrated i had a really bad headache before i went to bed so um we're gonna do a little bit more drinking today because that's what we should be doing so this is the breakfast setup that mum has made it's got a little bit of tea yogurt toast a bit of juice and the sun is out everyone so it all starts today we are heading off to the Isle of Wight festival um, it's the first day out of four we're gonna be doing a whole four day weekend it's currently 10 o'clock in the morning we're gonna be heading from Vetnor all the way up to Newport now and it'll be a bit of a bit of traffic going in today I expect because obviously everyone's gonna be heading in the same direction we've got the whole car packed really excited to go again we've never been to a festival before so it's a first time experience for us we've never done camping like this before either so yeah the nerves are kind of kicking in I'm a little bit excited as well not a little bit I am really excited so yeah let's get on with the journey and we'll catch up with you guys very soon. So we're in and we're just about to finish setting up the tent. We've just got to put the last little pegs in and then we think we've kind of put it all together. <laughs> Hi guys, so we have finally put a tent up. We had a little bit of help from some lovely ladies who are staying next to us. Um, we've obviously had a lot more experience than we have putting up a tent. So yeah, we're just chilling out now. We've been here for around an hour. We've gone back to the car, got our lunch, had a bit of that. I feel like we just relaxed a little bit because it is so warm. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a little check-in now. And we're gonna wander into the main site, see what it's about. The only performance I actually wanna see today is Scouting for Girls, and that's on a little bit later, around 10 o'clock. I feel like generally, we're gonna be kind of starting the day around two o'clock whilst we're here. Most of the acts that we want to see are like on the main stage so that's going to be most of the performances we're going to cover and um, like I said it's really really warm I'm absolutely roasted I'm sweating everywhere I've got like my festival makeup on I've got all my eyes done this is our little camp setup so this is our little like storage area we've got all of our rubbish our food here we've got our hygiene bags each kind of with us there and we've got our outfits sort of here as well um, and then outside this is the view mum's already outside sitting down a little bit we've got our little um clothing rail up there we've also got a little night light there as well nice this is the respect camping area as you can see um it is getting a little bit busier now this is pretty cool gonna have a little explore around see what's going on um get the whole vibe of everything and then i'll catch up with you guys at some point very soon This is my first meal of the festival. Shockingly, £10.95 for a bit of curry sauce and chips and a Pepsi.
Hi guys and welcome to day two of the festival. Um, we've basically had a little bit of a morning of just kind of like sitting out in the sun around the campsite and we've had our breakfast and our lunch here as well. We had some honey loops and I had a little cheese pass salad which I bought from Aldi in our shop before we came and that was really nice. So it's actually 20 to 4 in the afternoon and we're ready to start the day. We've been to the washroom. Um, I actually paid £60 for the washroom ticket and it's only for one person. I just assumed it would be for like the whole like me and my mum but obviously it wasn't so I've gone in there I've done my makeup today I've done a little bit of a purple kind of look for the prodigy later because my whole outfit's gonna be like a purple lilac sort of color um so yeah we're gonna get dressed for that now we're gonna head off to the main stage area and catch a few of the shows um from there and we haven't actually been in that area yet because yesterday it was closed so it's open today open around two hours ago I think so we're gonna check that out today um and watch the prodigy tonight which will be really fun the streets are playing as well the darkness I think the crowded house as well is gonna be on around six o'clock so it's a pretty good lineup tonight so really looking forward to it it's gonna be another late night we got back here about 10 o'clock no we didn't i would say maybe half 11 last night it did finish quite late and that is late for us because we don't really stay up like that so yeah it was a bit of a long day yesterday um and to be honest with you the tent last night was super super cold the whole site was like freezing so i did struggle to sleep last night so that's why we had a bit of a chilled out morning today because to be fair yesterday we went into the main area without even realizing that was what we we're gonna do we literally went out to explore the site for a bit and end up staying out the whole night so we we're out from like half past two yesterday all the way to like half 11 so it was a bit of a long day um for us so yeah we're gonna start the day off a little bit later hopefully we'll have a bit more energy by doing that and yeah really looking forward to it so let's go update you it is now saturday I haven't spoken to you guys since yesterday but prodigy and the whole music vibe was super super cool i absolutely loved it um, it was such a great night and i finished quite late as well i actually slept quite well last night i prepared myself a little bit better um i kind of put all my clothes here on the bed to kind of like make it a little bit more formal so that definitely helped because like around this corner bit here it was quite drafty the wind is picking up a bit as well as you can see i'm now ready for the fancy dress day it is a solstice day today i think we're a little bit late for the fancy dress costume um prize bit i think that was three o'clock but yeah we're ready now ready to spend the evening again for day three of the isle of Wight festival really, really like this i love fancy dress so cool got my little fairy wings got my little rose garland on got my little hair extensions in my elf ears um so yeah love it love it so much my little red glass on as well Woo, let's go this is my mum's outfit for today she's gone for a really summery solstice outfit got all the little clips in nice little dress yeah excited so just for reference we are currently staying in the respect camping area we've got to walk all the way up here all the way through here and up into the main stage so it's quite a trek it takes around 45 minutes so if this is going to be here next year in the same location just be wary that it's good for like getting out of here earlier but it is a bit of a journey all the way up to the main stage and back every day if you're not really mobile enough or you don't really feel like doing that so yeah just a little heads up so respect the campaign is normally right near the entrance of the site 
and then everything else kind of like in between all that so and the car park we were in is the gate a1 which is right here so we had to walk all the way from this hill it looks like a small one here but this is actually quite a long walk generally as well just to get to this point and this bit isn't like a straightforward easy it kind of goes like around like that but um yeah this map isn't really accurate to the site in general to be honest with you but it's pretty good so yeah we've got a general idea there of the camp and the area also the washroom here is so so far from here it's like 25 minute walk like you gotta go all the way around this sort of area and then go up and it has to go back on yourself and then back in again which is a little bit of a pain because if you're staying here walking all the way there to get yourself washed and dressed and to use the facilities it's just not really ideal <laughs> So it's day four of the festival, I think. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yep. Um, it's our last day today before we pack up for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's been a really fun time so far. I've really enjoyed it. Today is McFly's, Zara Larson, Simple Minds, and then ending the day with Green Day. So I'm really looking forward to it. Really action-packed day. We're gonna start today earlier than we have been normally, just because I really wanna get in the view for McFly. So yeah, it is actually almost 11 o'clock. Oh yeah, and for my makeup for McFly, I've done a little bit of done some stars but it kind of melted off it is really really hot um and i got a bit of glitter and got some more stars here I've got five colors in my earrings and then for my outfit i've got this really nice fun sparkly privily dress thing let's go and do day four
This is me on the last day of the festival. Battered, bruised, tired. It's the last day, it's Monday. We've packed up all of our stuff. We're by the car now, we're gonna load it. It's been a really hot festival. It's been really, really warm. From the moment we get up at six o'clock, it is literally beaming. Um, and it's been really cold at night, so it's a bit of a temperature shock. I cannot wait to have a shower. That is the one thing I cannot wait to do. As soon as I check into that hotel, I'm gonna be in there for at least an hour, I think. Just literally lathering up all the soap, getting my hair clean again. Again. So yeah, I cannot wait for that. It's been a really good time. Um, really love the experience. Mm -hmm. 